pavement And I let it feel You are getting livid And I'm at the But a figment And I am but a feel You are getting nervous And I am not the moon You are but a fissure And I am but exhumed You are getting livid And I am at the moon You are the fabric the static and I'm the drool Floating, coaxing, coasting Spinning at the loom alone Beneath the burning moon I tangle Fingers, ligaments, metal thread Spider bite the spool, your poison makes the perfect tool. Spinning at the loom alone, untying every thread bell mold beneath the burning moon unraveled. Hold up. Hold up, I turn around and wait a minute closer This gravity is spinning and I'm sewn up I'm falling on the stairs in a coma Survive the doctor's dream with a diploma And I not fix this sex noise remix Inside my skull, a gallery appears and hides, an homage to the exhibits of natural history, told from the perspective of dead Mother Earth herself. Couldn't hold it together after love is sudden enough. Stop turning, chained in man's last bondage to the unworthy moon, near satellite, tiny and burning through itself to basic carbons just to try to impress her. Man for great disease and power and depression, wishing starvation, and this moon-shaped haze that couldn't penetrate these depths. Gleaning some intoxicating courage from the whole fiasco, spitting out volumes of counterfeit encyclopedias in and of themselves, man's weak translation from the categorization of the biological fire that had been burning for like a billion years. Before drunk old daddy time stopped coming around to see the baby. Along the graph, I noticed an increased prevalence of spikes of certain temperature values, too blurry to read, but burned into my memory. 
Separate little thick musty layers come off, and the skin of my torso has a chance to breathe. Unnecessary protection is shed away from the blindness of absolute zero. I am taking my time getting to the roof. Residual visions color patches of walls like stained glass windows. Strings hang, the 20th circulation and wooden dull metal breaths. The symbols and the scraps I hold continue incoherently to expand in complexity, trapping meaning in change rather than repetition. Some other forces at work, dancing the poesis around this dreamy arboretum. Silver mists and round husks from two different angles, two obscured skies toward opposite ends, and many vaporized solutions of mana that clash in the middle and spark. The trees of my hallucination melt around the disturbing orb. Thoughts escape forbidden portions of the brain, itching to free tissues. I scratch my head for tumors. Paranoia grabs at me desperately, attempts to be the penultimate distraction, delaying whatever curiosity is bound to kill me. I feel like my own heat death is finally near, closer than ever. I can taste the chemicals that numb us into irrelevance, sucked into some other narrative, suckered by some other pole, then not exhibited by the devices. How could the origin of this new biological labyrinth be anything but a synthetic replication of a synthetic? It was by some strange luck that we inhabited land near 23.